Hello everybody from Plant Reviews UK. Today I am in the, my allotment and today I will focus of, uh, about one of uh, the plants that uh, at the moment uh, is uh, uh, giving a lot of fruits. So I have um, a few uh, berries plant here including uh, some blueberries as well and some uh, honey berries like this one and also some uh, Saskatoon uh, berries, some uh, Amelanchia as well as this one but um, yes most of them are well autumn uh, is now autumn is the 28th of October so uh, most of them are losing leaves however there are some plants that look quite still in their green and uh, this is the moment where especially one of these of the plants I cultivating is in full fruit ripening and this is the raspberries. My raspberries uh, are um, indeed uh, in this period in the peak time for fruit production and in particular uh, I have in the allotment uh, the autumn fruiting varieties. Um, I lost the tag of uh, the um, raspberry I planted, however I believe this one is called Joan J and the reason being I did uh, some research and uh, Joan J has uh, fruits that are quite conical indeed, uh, deep red when ripen as you can see and also uh, the um, stems, unlike uh, many raspberries that are very very spiky, are absolutely, uh, almost completely uh, thornless as you can see. So they are actually quite um, um, safe also in the garden because indeed uh, don't, don't have much spines. The spines they are just a few and very very short. Uh, about the raspberry. Raspberries uh, is a name that commonly refers to a variety of plants in the genus uh, Rubus and uh, um, uh, in particular the most common one uh, in Europe is Rubus ideus, the common the European red raspberry and uh, most of the cultivars and varieties of raspberries we cultivate in the United Kingdom and in Europe uh, do uh, originate from Rubus ideus uh, including uh, its uh, American counterpart Rubus strigotsus that according to some uh, anyway uh, um, uh, scientist uh, is also uh, does also belong to the same species uh, Rubus ideus uh, and just uh, would, should be classified as a different subspecies as uh, Rubus uh, ideus subspecies strigosus. However there are several species of Rubus, uh, including uh, Rubus uh, phenicolaius, that is uh, this species, uh, commonly known as wineberry, and um, Rubus phenicolaius, unlike the uh, variety of raspberry I have, is incredibly spiny, really really spiny, you can see the uh, amount of spines, spines on thorns on the uh, on the stems uh, and these uh, the stems are really um, I would say ornamental because they are really deep red unfortunately this plant uh, didn't make any berry this year and I do hope that next year uh, will be we start producing berries. Uh, going back about the raspberry, uh, the raspberry flowers are really a great source of nectar for uh, insect pollinators, especially honeybees uh, as you can see uh, now, this one is pollinating indeed, one of the flowers of the raspberries and also uh, a nice thing about the raspberries is that uh, the uh, um, uh, flowers are also auto-pollinating so basically uh, the fruits will be produced even if the uh, honeybee uh, pollinates the flower of the same plant with the same pollen so when it uh, goes from, from flower to another so really uh, it is pretty easy to get a lot of fruit crops from uh, raspberries uh, anyway. Uh, the name raspberry uh, come from uh, an old uh, Anglo Latin word that uh, is uh, um, uh, rice 
Rizewain, I believe, and uh, it is. Uh, uh, it was referring to uh, like a red rose wine. However, uh, might be also been inf uh, influenced by the name uh, in old English of uh, rasp, that means rough uh, berry, uh, in reference to the appearance of the berry that are not smooth, say for example, like a blueberry, but uh, obviously they are quite bumpy and rough. Um, Anyway, the, uh, about uh, regardless of the names, uh, what uh, is uh, really um, uh, appreciated about these plants uh, are definitely the fruit and the easiness uh, with which you can cultivate this plant in gardens and allotments as well. Uh, the plants are very hardy, they are hardy from USDA zone 3 to USDA zone 9, so they can be cultivated, they can be cultivated uh, widely uh, in temperate and pretty cold climates as well uh, not only obviously in the United Kingdom that has quite a mild climate if you consider the latitude where the uh, United Kingdom is uh, thanks also obviously to the Gulf Stream that makes the United Kingdom a lot uh, warmer than it should be according to the latitude anyway uh, being hardy uh, down to uh, USDA zone 3 uh, raspberries really can be cultivated in several areas uh, in uh, temperate and cold climates including many parts of uh, Europe Asia and North America as well as the uh, southern part of uh, South America as well as New Zealand uh, I'm not sure if Australia probably Australia has some parts a few parts also as well as Africa where you might cultivate raspberry but raspberries but uh, anyway one very important factor to consider about raspberries is that they need moisture all year round they are not uh, I'm sorry for all the noise around but obviously my allotment is quite close it's quite central uh, in the town I live so there's a lot of dogs and people coming around um, about the um about the uh, cultivation again the moisture is a particularly important factor and uh, they need really um, water all year round uh, they don't really like water all the conditions but uh, uh, i would say that uh, they can tolerate dampness uh, all year round uh, my area is very close to a river and uh, in winter actually can uh, sometimes can get flooded so uh, for a few days uh, this is not uh, really ideal uh, for raspberries but I would say that uh, these varieties in particular uh, have been here for uh, about uh, uh, one year and a half now so they were they saw winter last year there was quite very cold and also uh, quite wet and uh, they did still they did very well uh, the uh, ground here is clay so obviously it doesn't rain very much and the uh, raspberries were still able to grow perfectly fine um, about exposure ideal exposure for raspberries is full sun but they can tolerate partial shade and uh, actually raspberries are, raspberries are so easy to grow and to uh, propagate it actually uh, they can be propagated not only obviously by seeds if uh, when berries fall down as you can see in this case but also um, can propagate very easily from uh, shoots around from suckers brazil shoots and you can see here too uh, these two plants came uh, indeed from the um, basal shoot of this plant also from cutting they are very easy uh, when I was trying to uh, bend these branches uh, to put them uh, to try to keep them close to the net in order obviously to have space in the corridor in between the trellis I am cultivating uh, my berries uh, one of the uh, branches broke I planted it and actually uh, I planted it a couple of weeks ago and well you can see it is still green and I'm not too sure if it actually produced roots already um, I can't really see but uh, the fact that after two weeks uh, the plant is still green and producing leaves is a good indicator that uh, actually uh, the cutting is rooted and it is growing pretty well um, the um, about the uh, 
um, varieties of raspberries. The, um, there are several varieties of raspberries, but the two main types are the summer bearing raspberries that uh, produce fruits on the uh, second year growth. So they will have the first shoot growing the first year, and then on the second year, they will produce fruits. Uh, very nice crops concentrated mainly in midsummer. However, uh, Another type is the one that I'm featuring in this video today, and these uh, uh, types, uh, well, this type uh, to which other varieties belong, is called the autumn bearing uh, raspberry. And uh, uh, the um, well, really, the autumn bearing raspberries because uh, several varieties belong to this type, and they uh, produce fruits uh, on uh, shoots on the same year that they uh, grow. So. The shoots will grow, they will start producing flowers uh, usually between uh, summer and autumn and the fruits uh, will start uh, being produced between late summer and autumn. Uh, well, now we are in the end of October and my plant is in peak season, as you can see. Uh, even if the uh, plants are perennial and the roots are perennial, the shoots are actually in most raspberries biennial, so uh, they... Um, uh, have the peak uh, production, uh, like for example, in, mid, uh, in the mid, uh, uh, sorry, mid summer raspberries on the second year of growth, uh, uh, and uh, even the autumn uh, raspberries, anyway, the autumn bearing raspberries will uh, produce the crop uh, in the first year of growth uh, of the uh, growth of the shoot of the branch uh, in autumn, but also they produce a, a crop the following year uh, in summer. And uh, the um, flavor and the um, uh, high yield, the yield of uh, the berries is different according to the varieties. Um, a midsummer variety is very famous uh, in the United Kingdom is uh, Tulamen, for example. However, um, uh, the um, other common uh, autumn bearing varieties instead uh, are in uh, UK autumn bliss and uh, uh, polka and Joan Jay. Autumn bliss is a variety that has uh, several spines uh, I found and usually produces shoots uh, that are quite self-sustaining so don't uh, really need to be um, attached by uh, to, uh, attached to trellis or to support while polka and uh, Joan Jay uh, have uh, shoots that are, don't have as many spines as Autumn Bliss, as this is the case, and produce a higher crop of fruits, and uh, usually uh, they are not uh, that well self-supporting, so they will not uh, basically um, grow on the ground, but uh, the stems uh, tend to be quite uh, uh, unstable in strong wind. You can see actually in uh, yes in this plant uh, you see how the stems are quite thin and they um, are moved by the wind and this is the reason that anyway I uh, tied them to the trellis or anyway I am uh, entangling uh, on this trellis and entangling them on this trellis anyway. Um, I believe this variety, even if I lost the tag, is uh, Joan J and uh, not Polka because even if both uh, have very few spines are basically uh, thornless as you can see, uh, Joan J is the highest um, crop, uh, uh, produces the highest, the highest number of crops. The fruits are uh, um, uh, the fruits are deep red when mature and very typically uh, in this uh, variety. You have to wait, probably if I go on the other side the light is better so you can actually see the uh, color. Uh, the fruit need to be collected when it is deep, this deep red. Uh, and I'll show you the difference. So basically uh, different raspberries have different colors according to the species and varieties. There are some that are uh, like uh, the normal varieties red like this one the wild variety rubus adeus the uh, european red raspberries is red the, non, the most common however uh, there are varieties that uh, uh, when ripen are like uh, uh, yellow gold or also can be black purple so basically after the uh, flower is pollinated we start produce the fruit that from green will turn uh, like a pinkish green 
to uh, red like uh, I would say almost strawberry red uh, for example yeah you can see this one is strawberry red however this one is not uh, really a fully ripened fruit you really need to wait until the fruit becomes this red you see the difference in red this is a bright red uh, fruit like strawberry red but this is not really ripened because uh, you see it doesn't really uh, uh, when you try to pick it doesn't uh, really um, uh, comes out from uh, the torus the torus is the middle part the hard part this one instead is very deep red and uh, is actually very easily picked so you see the hard part stays on the fruit uh, sorry stays on the plant and you can actually eat it and uh, mm very flavorful very intense and very 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 uh very nice i'm very glad to have this plant yeah as i said in the john jay is also famous for the fruits to be very flavorful very um rich in uh very nice taste very rich in flavor and uh, not only just sweet and uh, i really love this uh, uh variety so as i said I'm very sorry I lost the tag so I can, can't be 100% sure that this is Joan J. However, by the research I've done and also remember that Joan J was among the plants I uh, planted, the, the uh, Tulamine and the uh, Autumn uh, Bliss. The Tulamine obviously can't be the Tulamine because Tulamine is midsummer. I also planted the Autumn Bliss uh, and the Polka in my garden together with the Joan J. Uh, however, I took some cuttings last year. The only cutting that actually rooted in the allotment is this one. It's the plant that now produced this beautiful plant. Uh, it's the cutting that produces now this beautiful plant and this beautiful cropping. And I strongly believe that this is uh, Joan J. And I will pick another fruit because it's really tasty and nice. And I will eat it again. Mmm. <laughs> really, really nice. So. Um, about uh, pests, uh, uh, usually they are quite resistant to pests, however one of the factors you have to consider, especially for autumn bearing varieties, is that uh, sometimes fruits uh, might be attacked by molds uh, like these ones unfortunately. It has been a bit rain the past days, so uh, yeah, these are uh, problems that might affect the crop. Uh, about uh, the uh, other uh, um, uh, features of uh, raspberry uh, growing, uh, I know some varieties they can be planted in pot and uh, this is also good to avoid uh, the raspberries escaping uh, through suckers like they are doing in my allotments. However, uh, if they escape you obviously need to cut them down and uh, uh, you will be able to uh, keep them at bay. Also uh, remember that uh, raspberries uh, really, especially the cultivated varieties, are really, really um, produce, uh, tend to produce very high crops. So even if they escape, it means you will uh, get even more fruits, uh, unless obviously become so invasive that they invade everything, but uh, you will, I'm sure you will be able to keep the uh, plants at bay in case you, uh, you need. So in summary, I really would recommend raspberries for allotments and for uh, uh, gardens uh, remember they need to be uh, monitored to avoid uh, them propagating and become too invasive however really the, um, they bring some of the best tasting fruits that you can cultivate in the United Kingdom they are really hardy really easy to keep and also uh, they have uh, their flowers really attract um, a lot of insect pollinators and especially because well now we are uh, already in late autumn almost in November and they are still producing uh, flowers that provide nectar to insects so especially in this period where honeybees are trying to uh, collect as much nectar as possible before obviously the winter where there are no flowers it is very important to provide um, honeybees with as many uh, sources of flowers as possible also for uh, keeping our wildlife uh, active and growing and considering the really important work that honeybees do uh, pollinating the fruit crops in the United Kingdom as well as basically worldwide. 
as usual i hope uh, that uh, you enjoyed uh, the video uh, thank you very much for watching if you like this video it would be great if you can please give a thumbs up and if you uh, like this video and the other videos on my channel it would be great if you can please subscribe it is completely free for you but uh, uh, subscribing you will notify uh, the youtube uh, channel that uh, you enjoy my video and youtube in uh, turn can uh, promote uh, my uh, videos on the platform as usual thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye